everybody. Uh, welcome to the hashtag for fall. I uh, love fall art. Hey guys, welcome to the hashtag. I am going to show you all of my art supplies that I put in school supply containers and use them for storage or travel. So this video you can see that there's so many great uses for back to school supplies. There's, this is actually a shower cap. I've used shower caps many, many times to separate things, kind of like bags. This is actually a makeup case, but any pencil case would work to store paints, markers, pens, glues, washi tapes, anything like that. This is an index file folder or index card holder. I used to have my ink supplies that you'll see in an orange container in here in just a minute. But uh, that contain the container these inks were in was broken, and I had other containers. Um, so I, I switched things around recently when I was cleaning my studio. So you'll also see some empty, yes, here's an example, some empty ones that I've either emptied out or bought on sale recently because I have an addiction to pockets and folders and compartments. I love organization, but I'm not very great at it. You'll see that throughout things. Um, this container, I've used this one for travel several times. You can see the Kinder Egg. It's the perfect size to keep my ink nibs in, so you can see the pens. Um, they stick in them sometimes, but that's okay because they don't stick your, they don't poke you. They just stick in the egg perfectly. You can see I've spilled ink on it. I've used this thing so many times for backpacking and traveling. Um, but you'll see one that I use more often in a little bit, actually. I use this one sometimes, but the other one I do use more often. Um, there's a water brush. This one fits more pens in it. So if I'm taking water brushes and pens and that type of thing, I take this one. If I'm taking my watercolor set, which has water stuff in it, which I have an old, old video on, but you can go check it out. Then I take the other kit. This one is perfect for urban sketching. You can see that I have the, the binder clip. I put my papers on that. I use the papers. I put black ink on top of these. If you go to the sunflower one, you can see my working style in that. I have a speed drawing of doing a sunflower urban sketching style. This is, I don't even know what this case is from, but it's perfect. It works so amazing. I've used it backpacking, camping. It's probably been in like four different countries. I don't even know, but I love it. I love how this everything fits in it. You don't even need the orange pack. Everything fits inside the pink one perfectly. This is a toiletry bag that my husband got me when he was on a trip. I took this to Brazil with me full of art supplies and I did a sketch every single day while I was in Brazil and um, had an exhibition. I was a part of a group exhibition the second month there. So I had all the supplies fit in that to do drawings, to do 30 drawings. Uh, this is a kit. I actually bought it recently. I might use it as a gift um, do a gift basket for for someone. I'm not telling you who in case she watches it. But uh, those I loved the toiletry bag from Walmart. Actually, and you could do two different pencil boxes as well as flat papers. The pencil boxes fit so perfectly in it. I I had to do it. I had to do it. Maybe I didn't, but I did it anyways. This is a toiletry case again with uh, school supplies inside of it for storage. So you can see that those two fit so snugly and beautifully in there. And so, yeah, like I said, this might end up being a gift rather than art supplies that I use. There's so many options, you guys. That's one of the things I love about back-to-school supplies. You could do all sorts of creative things. This is a binder, a typical binder, but a big one. It has this neck strap on it. It also has a space for, um, like, the typical three-ring binder things. My sketchbooks I keep in that section. I love it because it has the strap so I can take it places with me and work in a coffee shop easily. My... Other supplies fit in there so nicely. There's a file folder, which I put my language learning stuff in it, a book that I'm reading in Portuguese to study. These are for bullet journaling and planning. I am starting a bullet journal. Uh, if you want to see videos on that, let me know. It's something new. I tried it in the past and it didn't work. Um, I'm going to try it again. I think the video clip got cut off, so you didn't get to see it in here either. I'm sorry about that. But I'm, I'm learning the whole bullet journaling thing, seeing if, I, seeing if it's for me. Either way, I can do a video if you guys want it, whether I like it or it's a fail. There's the entire ink and wash kit just slid inside of this little bungee section of the binder. I loved it. That was too big to fit, but I put it in there anyways just to show you how much stuff can fit in this binder. That was a much better fit. That's more what it's designed for thickness-wise. But I love, 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 love this binder. I've loved Trapper Keepers and the pockets and all those things since I was in probably elementary school when Trapper Keeper was a thing. I used to love it. Inside of this sketchbook, or inside of this folder, I have some of the sermon notes. I did a video on it where I do like art in my sermon sketches, but it's relevant. So if you want to see that video, let me know. I love school supplies, you guys. I love school supplies for art. And so this is an example of you don't need all these fancy art bags. They're really cool and they're so specific and great and travel bags, but you can do just basic backpacks and basic things for your art supplies and for your travel. This is one of my favorites. Uh, you will see again how versatile this is. You can set it upright using the strap. I have all my supplies. I have notes. My sketchbooks fit in here. I take this to meetings a lot of times because I, I sketch and I doodle. 
but I also take notes. You can set it up so you can grab all the supplies out. But you guys can see back to school supplies are perfect for the artist on the go. Perfect for storage. A watercolor thing that I have came out of this, uh, this makeup bag. I have two makeup bags. This one I use, I used both of them for years for art classes. You can see it's covered in nasty from uh, charcoal and uh, graphite. That part is brown inside too. I hate the texture of it, so I'm trying not to touch it. But I still use it sometimes um, if I'm going to be backpacking maybe, that type of thing. You can see there's paint on it. But it's a really great, uh, it was a really great makeup case that worked perfectly for art supplies. Oh, and these are just some fun projects that I'm working on using back to school stuff. So there's a backpack which you'll see in the very end, and then there's also some uh, notebooks that I'm drawing on. I think I'm going to try to sell them as journals in um, a, a bazaars, or I might give them as gifts for Christmas, but we'll see. I'm working on some henna-designed goodies, and I, just, I thought they'd be fun to show in here for um, fall art. There are bags and backpacks and uh, planners and that type of thing that I've been doodling on, and I've tested these too so they don't wash out the 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 black design stays, the acrylic design stays in through the washing machine. Not that you wash purses that often, but so I hope you enjoyed this back to school video. If you did, please let me know and I can make more videos of my art supplies and the kits. And I can actually pack them up for you guys if you want to see that type of thing.